Hello everyone, so today is a term for English vocabulary explanation. Yeah, so that's way, yeah, all you can notice that I talk too much, right? I spend two hours. <laughs> yeah, the words are too yeah, too much, yeah, too many, right? Okay, yeah, the information is too much, yeah. So today, yeah, I'll cut the range into half. Yeah, so yeah, okay, in expectation, yeah, the duration will be one hour. Okay, yeah. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay. Yeah, the first word I want to talk about is qualify. Okay. Yeah. So qualify means to arrange something such as laws or rules into a system. Yeah. So you want to arrange a specific regulation. Okay. Yeah. So you can form a system. Okay. Yeah. A system of yeah, lots of regulations. Right. Okay. So yeah, qualify means yeah, you just want to Add some rules, yeah, and combine them, yeah, into a book or combine it into a reference, right? Okay, yeah. So qualify. Okay, yeah. So let's look at some example. Okay, the committee was tasked with qualifying the company's policies and procedures into a comprehensive employee handbook. Okay, so they're tasked with doing something. Uh, that means they have the task yeah, to do something. Yeah, okay. So they are a higher level authority. Yeah, okay. Command them, okay, to qualify the policies. Right. Okay. Very important. Okay. Yeah. So qualify policies into yeah, into a handbook. Right. Okay. Yeah. Qualify a set of rules into a system, into a book. Okay. Yeah. So Let's look at another example. Yeah, I'll pick the fourth one. Okay. The goal of the project was to qualify best practices for data management across organization. Okay. Yeah. So qualify practices. Okay. Qualify rules, qualify policies, qualify procedures. Yeah. Okay. So we need to put the emphasis on the objects that we can put after this verb. Okay. Yeah. So I want to pick another example. Yeah. Okay. Pick another representative one. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, okay, yeah, uh, so, yeah, uh, I picked the second example, okay, the government spent years qualifying the legal system to ensure consistency and fairness, okay, yeah, qualifying the legal system, yeah, so also, you can use this term, okay, yeah, qualify the system, yeah, okay, qualify the system, but the system is made out of many, yeah, okay, many rules, right, okay, many, Regulations, yeah, okay, very important. Yeah, okay. So let's look at some related part of speech. Yeah, okay, so the noun is convocation. Okay, the act of arranging laws or rules into a system. Okay, yeah, convocation. Yeah, so yeah, the procedure, okay, the process of doing that thing, okay, of qualifying, you can say, okay, you can refer to this process, this action, okay, as convocation. Okay. The convocation of the country's tax laws was completed after months of deliberation. Yeah. Convocation of something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Convocation of laws. Convocation of rules. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's the same for the convocation that can be put after the verb qualify. Right. Okay. Yeah. Qualify. Yeah. Okay. So it's an adjective that comes from the past participle form. Okay. Qualified, yeah. Arranged into a system, usually in reference to laws or rules. Okay, the company's newly qualified policies were more concise and earlier to understand. Yeah, qualified. Okay, yeah. So it has been simplified. It has been systemized, right? So yeah, it have consistency. Yeah, there is no redundancy, right? Okay, so yeah, it's more yeah, it's more simple to understand. Okay. Yeah, qualifier. Okay, qualifier is a person or entity that arranges laws or rules into a system. Okay, John is known as a leading qualifier of the legal system. Okay, so yeah, there are other related power of speech. Okay, yeah, qualifier can also be used as an adverb. Yeah, so interesting, huh? Okay, yeah, okay, so yeah, this is wrong. Yeah, okay. Qualify only can be used as a verb, yeah, so it's wrong, okay, yeah, so we just omit that, okay, and shift to another relative power of speech, okay, yeah, qualify me, yeah, interesting, okay, in way that arranges something such as laws or rules into a system, okay, 
the legal team will call finally to ensure that the new regulations were clear and consistent, right? Okay, yeah. So yeah, if you clarify something, yeah, you you yeah, you not only add a set of rules, yeah, into a book, you not just combine them, but you need to delete some duplicates, right? Okay, you need to avoid redundancy, right? So also you need to avoid contradict contradiction, yeah. Okay, the laws or the rules should be consistent. Okay, very important. Yeah, so there are some reality words. Okay, read. Yeah, there are some synonyms. Okay, yeah, syst systematize. Yeah, this one is very important. <laughs> so I'll click on the link. Yeah, and play the pronunciation. Okay. Yeah. Systematize. Okay. Yeah, systematize. Okay. Yeah, systematize to plan a system for something. Yeah. Okay, systematize. Okay, to arrange things in a methodical or organized way, especially in a system. Okay, systematize. Yeah. Okay. The marketing team worked to systematize the company's social media strategy. Okay. Yeah. So you can become a system. So yeah, once you have some doubts, yeah, you can reference them more easily. Right. Okay. Yeah, so there's some other synonyms. Yeah, okay. Synodize. Yeah, synodize is to establish a standard or uniform system. Okay, standardize. The international organization aims to standardize safety regulations across all member countries. Yeah, so yeah, it's quite different. Yeah, because standardize just means you want to unify yeah, different rules. Yeah, maybe these rules are made from different regions. Yeah, so you want to standardize them. Okay, so it can be union, yeah, it can be consistent. Okay, but yeah, yeah, it does not necessarily mean that it's also okay, very concise. Yeah, maybe yeah, you will also yeah remain some redundancy. Okay, so it's a little different, yeah, from the previous or systematized, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it's okay, still that it only means yeah, okay, you want to unify a set of rules that may be contradictory. Yeah, in different regions. Okay, very important. Yeah, organize. Yeah, organize. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So a little more different. Okay. Yeah, to arrange things in a structural or systemic way. Yeah, systematic way. Okay. Yeah, structure and systematic way. Okay, organize. Yeah. Okay, but it does not necessarily mean. Yeah, okay. It is simplified. Yeah, maybe there are some. Okay, there are some redundancy. Yeah, but. It won't be so obvious, yeah, because it's already been structured, right? Okay, but yeah, importantly, okay, yeah, maybe there will be some contradiction, okay, yeah, but there will be lower contradiction, yeah. So organize here, yeah, is very similar to systematize, okay, qualify, okay, organize, yeah. But organize does not mean that you combine a set of rules, so it does not have the com the meaning of combination, yeah. So. Yeah, a little different from qualify, but exactly the same, okay, as systematize, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, systematize, organize. The event coordinator had to organize the sitting chart to ensure that all guests had a clear view of the stage. Okay, yeah, organize. Structure, yeah. So structure can also be used as a verb, yeah. Very important, yeah. Okay, yeah. It does not only mean, okay. Only can be used as a noun, okay. Yeah, it can also be used as a verb, yeah. Very important. Okay, to raise something in a way that creates a coherent and well organized whole, yeah. Coherent, right? Coherent is a noun word for consistent, yeah. Okay. The consultant was able to structure the company's workflow to maximize efficiency. Okay, yeah, so efficiency will be greatly induced after you systematize, okay, your rules, your regulations, right, you structure them, yeah, very important, yeah, so, yeah, it can be done more easily if you want to reference it, yeah, okay, more easily and more efficiently, okay, so the next, yeah, the next session, yeah, also, yeah, there are also lots of synonyms, okay, yeah, Methodize. Okay, so this word is really used. Yeah. Okay. Methodize to arrange things in a systemic or methodical way. Okay, methodical way. Yeah. Okay. The project manager had to methodize the tasks to ensure that the project was completed on time. Yeah. Methodize. Okay. So if you methodize something, yeah, you 
arrange a metho methodology. Yeah, okay, methodology to towards yeah for a specific project. Yeah, okay, yeah, methodize. Okay, methodize tasks. So yeah, you arrange. Yeah, okay, you engineer. Right, okay, a set of methods for this task. Okay, classify. Categorize, yeah. So these tools are a little different, yeah, because they are just part of the tasks involved in qualification. Okay, they are classified and categorized, okay, but it does not mean that it's already structured, yeah. You just do the grouping, okay. Yeah, so let's move on, okay, to the next or okay. So the next tool is conciliatory, okay. Conciliatory means showing willingness to end a disagreement or trying to make someone less angry. Okay, conciliatory. Yeah, conciliatory. Okay, yeah. So you want to end a disagreement. Yeah, end a quarrel. Right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, this kind of attitude. Yeah, we can use this actually to describe. Okay, conciliatory. Okay. Yeah, the CEO's conciliatory tone in her email helped to diffuse the tension between the two departments. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, conciliatory gesture. Yeah, conciliatory attitude. Yeah, okay. So these qualifications are very important. Okay, conciliatory speech, conciliatory approach. Yeah. So I'll just look at the final example. Okay, the teacher's conciliatory approach to discipline helped to foster a sense of respect and understanding in the classroom. Yeah. Okay, approach to something, right? Yeah, we add precision two after approach. Okay, yeah, a conciliatory approach to something. Yeah, very important. Okay, so it can be convincing, right? Okay, so let's look at the power speech section. Okay, yeah, so the verb is conciliate. Okay, conciliate is to bring an end to a dispute or conflict, usually by making concessions or offering an uh, apology. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you just say, I'm sorry, it's my fault. Yeah, so you want to conciliate, right? Okay, conciliate. Okay, so let's look at an example. Okay, the mediator tried to conciliate between the two parties by suggesting a compromise. Yeah, okay, conciliate. Okay, yeah, okay, conciliate. Yeah, because it's a verb. Yeah, so I need to probably ate. Eight. Okay, conciliate. Okay, yeah, conciliation is a noun. Okay, yeah, so it's the act, right? The process of doing this thing, okay, apologizing, right? Okay, yeah, making peace. Okay, the union and management reach a conciliation agreement after a long period of negotiations. Okay, yeah, yeah, so in this example, can we substitute, okay, conciliatory for conciliation? Okay, so it's different, right? Because conciliatory means showing. Okay, show willingness to end a disagreement, but conciliation agreement means the agreement, yeah, the content of the agreement is about conciliation, so it's a little different. Okay, yeah, okay, conciliation agreement, yeah, we need to put the emphasis on the usage, yeah, okay, conciliatory means to describe, okay, yeah, it's used to describe an attitude, okay, an action that is showing the willingness to end disagreement, but Agreement here, yeah, already means that you want to end a quarrel, right? Yeah, so you won't use this adjective. Yeah, you want to, yeah, put an emphasis on content. So yeah, it will be a compound noun. Okay, not an adjective that is used to describe agreement. That that would be very strange. Okay, so we need to put emphasis on usage. Okay, conciliation agreement. Okay, conciliation agreement. Okay, so it's a compound noun. Okay. Conciliator is a person who helps to settle a dispute or reconcile opposing sides. Okay, conciliator. Yeah, conciliator. Yeah, is very similar to appeaser. Yeah. Okay. The HR management acted as a conciliator between the two employees who had a disagreement. Very important. Yeah. Okay. A conciliator between yeah A and B. Okay. Yeah, A and B had a very fierce, tense quarrel. Right. Okay. Very tense fight, yeah. So you can act as a conciliator between them, yeah. Very important. So let's look at some collocations, okay. So there are already some collocations used, yeah, in the example sentences, right? Conciliatory speech, yeah, conciliatory gesture, approach, attitude, right? Okay, so here I just want to emphasize conciliatory message, okay, conciliatory message. Okay, so message is neutral. Yeah, message can yeah 
yeah, the content can be aggressive, yeah, can be, yeah, okay, soothing, right? So, yeah, it's neutral, yeah, okay. So, we need to use the adjective to describe this now, yeah, okay. So, we need to make a comparison between agreement, yeah, it's quite different, okay. So, we'll say conciliation agreement, but conciliatory message, yeah, very important, okay, very important, okay. So, conciliatory message is a statement or communication intended to make peace or resolve incomplete. Okay, yeah, conciliatory message. The country's president issued a conciliatory message to a neighboring nation after a border dispute. Okay, conciliatory message. Yeah, okay, issue. Yeah, issue. Okay, issue a conciliatory message. Okay, yeah, so the communication is very important, right? Okay, issue. Yeah, okay, you want to send out, right, send out this message, yeah, okay, issue this message, okay, so let's look at some synonyms, okay, peacemaking, okay, yeah, peacemaking, yeah, appeasing, yeah, mediating, okay, yeah, very similar, right, okay, yeah, so mediating is a, lot, a little different, yeah, but very similar, okay, that's because mediating means, yeah, okay, you serve it as a communication, a bridge between two parties, but it does not necessarily mean you want to end a disagreement. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, because the two parties already have some okay, barriers. Yeah, let's form after the quarrel, right? So you act as a communicator, the bridge, but it does not necessarily mean yeah, you can serve as the okay, the power, yeah, to end the disagreement. Yeah, so it's a little different. Okay, mediating. Okay, yeah. Go between, yeah, okay. Yeah, this word is also very important. Yeah, go between. Yeah, go between. Yeah, okay, is yeah, okay, is a mediation, right? Okay, go between. Yeah, go between is a mediation, a bridge. Okay, yeah, between two parties. Okay, go between. Yeah, yeah, intermediary, intermediary. Yeah, these two words are very important. Okay, an intermediary. Okay, intermediary, go between. Yeah, okay, serve as a bridge, right? Okay. The teacher played a mediating role between the two students who had an argument in the classroom. Okay, yeah. So reconciling, diplomatic, yeah, directly also can be used, yeah, to okay, you want to okay mitigate, right? Mitigate some tension. Yeah. So yeah, okay, you need to have this characteristic. Okay, yeah. Diplomatic. Okay. Diplomatic is yeah, means to be characterized by tact and sensitivity right in dealing with others okay yeah so you have the capability of dealing with others yeah so you are diplomatic okay yeah it does not necessarily mean that is related to international events okay but also it can mean someone yeah who is very good at dealing with a very high maintenance guy right okay so you can use this word okay propitiatory yeah this word is very important okay propitiatory Okay, propitiatory means intended to appease or pacify. Yeah, so this word is a little negative. Yeah, because it seems that you just agree all the rules, all the conditions that are set by the our party. Yeah, so it's a little negative. Okay, yeah, the company's propitiatory gestures to a union workers help to avoid a strike and maintain good relations. Okay, propitiatory. Yeah, very important. Okay, this word is very hard, but also very important. Okay, propitiatory. Yeah, propitiatory. Conciliatory. Okay. Yeah, so there are some antonyms. Yeah, so you want to cause a quarrel. Yeah, you are opposing. Yeah, so you can use this word, right? Okay, antagonistic. Okay, combative. Contentious. Yeah. Okay, contentious means you, you like to have a competition. Yeah, okay contentious causing or likely to cause an argument or conflict yeah okay very important okay contentious yeah so another word yeah okay is hostile yeah hostile okay yeah hostile means unfriendly yeah so a little different yeah okay it just means that yeah you sh yeah showing hatred right yeah you, you you have some hatred toward a specific person right so you can use this word hostile Okay, hostility is now, right? Okay, intransigent, obdurate, unyielding. Yeah, okay, it's a little different. Yeah, okay, because yeah, it's related to 
yeah, the fact that like, you want you don't want to change your opinion, change your stance, yeah, okay, intransigent, obdurate, unyielding, yeah, means yeah, is a yeah, is syn synonymous, okay, to stubborn, yeah, stubborn, okay, yeah. So you are very consistent with your opinion, yeah, persistent, right, okay, yeah. So it's also very negative, okay, intransigent, obdurate, okay, unyielding. Okay. Yeah, but it's a little different to a fact. Yeah, about not making the reconciliation. Yeah, okay, and also it does not mean that yeah, it's causing the disagreement. Okay, yeah, it's causing a quarrel. Yeah, okay, not really. Yeah, okay, very important. But it it just means that yeah, you firmly stick to your principles. Okay, but sometimes yeah, okay, yeah, it's too far. Right, so it's also very negative. Yeah, so let's look at another or. Okay, the next or I'll talk about is tailgate. Okay, yeah, so tailgate here has another meaning. Yeah, it's it does not mean that you, yeah, narrowly follows. Yeah, okay, closely follow another car. Yeah, that's very dangerous, right? Okay, that's very dangerous. But yeah, tailgate here yeah has another meaning. Okay, to cook food and have drinks out of the back of your car in a car park before going in to watch a game. Yeah, so it means that yeah, okay, yeah. So you already arrive, yeah, yeah, arrive at the scene of the match, right? So yeah, you you don't have some specific things to do here, yeah. So you want to have some fun, yeah, have some enjoyment, yeah. So you yeah, you cook food and have drinks, <laughs> okay, yeah. So yeah, and yeah, this okay, these sources, yeah, okay, is are from your Back of car, yeah, the back of your car, <laughs> yeah, interesting, right? Okay, we are going to tailgate before the football game, so be sure to bring some burgers and drinks to share. Okay, yeah, okay, tailgate, yeah, very important. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's um about the American culture, right? <laughs> so yeah, this word is born, right? <laughs> okay, very interesting. Okay, yeah, we set up our grill and quarter and tailgated. For a few hours before the baseball game started. Okay, yeah. So let's look at yeah the final example. Okay, it was a beautiful day for tailgating, and we spent a few hours socializing and eating before the baseball game. Okay, yeah. So let's look at some ready power speech. Okay, tailgater. Yeah, tailgater is a person who engages in tailgating. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, the someone who attends yeah in this party right okay you can use this or okay tailgater okay the driver behind me was such a tailgater that I had to pull over and let them pass <laughs> okay yeah so interesting <laughs> yeah mm. yeah so yeah so this or yeah is a non meaning yeah okay yeah it's of a non meaning okay it means that yeah okay just I just previously mentioned, right? Okay, drive crew closely behind another vehicle. Yeah, so yeah, it's very dangerous. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, yeah. Tailgating. Okay, tailgating is the activity of cooking and drinking. Yeah, so yeah, okay. The meaning is, yeah, okay, the consist, yeah, it's consistent, right? Okay, yeah, okay, it's considered to the meaning I am currently, yeah, talking about. Okay, yeah, we love going to football games and tailgating with our friends beforehand. Okay. Yeah, tailgate with someone. Okay, tailgate with someone. But here also, yeah, is use yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, it's used as an okay, yeah, as a noun, right? Okay, yes, yeah, I love doing something, yeah. Okay, so it's true. <laughs> yeah, I don't have an opinion about that, but I don't think that yeah, this usage is related to the noun form, yeah, because love already have this usage, right? Love doing something or love to do something, yeah. So Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, so here, yeah, tailgating is the noun form. Yeah, that is uh, that is derived from the verb, right? By adding ing. Okay, so let's look at some collocations. Okay, tailgate party. Yeah, tailgating equipment. Okay, yeah, okay, this, yeah, they are not important. Okay, so I just want to mention the last collocations. Okay, tailgating friendly. Okay, interesting. Okay, tailgating friendly. Describes a venue, event, or location that allows or encourages tailgating. 
Okay, so there are some equipments that can be very suitable. Okay, for tailgating. Yeah, so this environment. Okay, this venue is tailgating friendly. Okay, this stadium is known for being tailgating friendly with lots of parking and plenty of spaces for people to set up their grills and chairs. Okay. Yeah, so there are, there are some synonyms. Okay, parking lot party. <laughs> parking lot party. Interesting, right? Okay, a gathering in a parking lot, often before a sporting event or concert, where participants bring food, drinks, and games to share. Okay, so they'll yeah, hold a party, right? Throw a party at a parking lot. Yeah, interesting, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe there are some, okay, older. Yeah, I don't think that is a good idea, right? <laughs> yeah, there are some. Yeah, okay, set of guests, yeah, so I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're having a parking lot party before the concert tonight, so bring your best snacks, enjoy in the fun. Okay, yeah. So there's another, yeah, synonym, okay, pre-game celebration, yeah, pre-game celebration. The party or gathering held before a sports event or game, okay, pre-game celebration. Okay, so yeah, this word yeah is yeah has a wider range of meaning, right? Okay, compared to tailgating or parking lot party, but yeah, because yeah, these two kinds of party yeah has specific activity, but pre-game celebration just means any activity that is held before the game, right? Okay, we pre okay we pre our pre-game okay our pre-game celebration is going to be epic this year. With a barbecue and music to get us pumped up for again. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at yeah other students. Okay. Mobile tailgating. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Yeah. The act of tailgating from a vehicle, often with portal grills and other equipment. Yeah. So yeah, because the grills and other equipment are portable, right? So we use this word mobile. Okay, mobile tailgating. Yeah, you can move with them. Yeah, okay, very important. We are going to be mobile tailgating this weekend. So we'll have everything we need in the back of the pickup truck. Okay, fan fist, fan fist. Yeah, okay, so also there is another, okay, compound now. Yeah, okay, we can learn from it. Yeah, okay, fan fist, fan fist. A large meal or party held before a sporting event or game. Often with fans of both teams in attendance. Okay. Yeah, so there are some fans yeah, okay, involved in the party. Yeah. So we use this word to describe this party, right? Fan fist. The fan fist before the big rivalry game was a great chance to meet fans from the other team and share some good food and drinks. Okay, fan fist. Okay. Yeah. So let's look at some thematic reality words. Okay, yeah, so this, yeah, this one is very simple, yeah, so I'll just bring up and, yeah, okay, I'll just, yeah, I'll soon move on to another word, okay, barbecue, potluck, yeah, potluck party, yeah, okay, maybe, yeah, some of you already have heard of this, yeah, so I, I don't want to mention, yeah, potluck, okay, yeah, picnic, yeah, cookout, yeah, festivity, <laughs> okay, festivity is not related to the party, yeah, it just means some, atmosphere that is involved yeah in a specific day of festivals right okay the town's annual festival is always a fun game with music food and games for everyone to enjoy <laughs> Ooh, so yeah this examples yeah does not involve yeah does not include this or festivity at all yeah so yeah poor chat yeah i don't i don't think it's a good idea right Okay, so I just want to create another example sentence. Okay, yeah, so the activity is full of festivity. Yeah, it's so enjoyable. Okay, yeah, very important. Okay, be full of festivity. Yeah, it's an atmosphere. Yeah, so it's an uncomfortable now. Okay, so the next one I'll talk about is fall through. Okay, fall through means to fail to happen. Yeah, fall through. Okay, fall through. And so, yeah, it does not fulfill, right? Okay. Yeah, it does not come true. Yeah. Okay. So it falls through. Yeah. Okay. Fall fell fallen. Yeah. Okay. Fall fell fallen. Okay. I was really excited about the job offer, but it fell through at the last minute. Yeah. So sad, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Such a pity, right? Okay. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, just move on to the fourth example. Okay, I was hoping to get tickets to the concert, but it looks that that plan has fallen through. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fallen through has fallen through. It fell through. Yeah, okay. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sometimes, yeah, we need to put the emphasis. Okay, on the tense. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we can notice that. Okay, fall through can be used in past tense. But also, yeah, okay, in the present complete tense, right? Okay, very important. Yeah, fall through. Okay, have fallen through or fell through. Okay, yeah, okay, that is very often used, right? Okay, in these two two sense, yeah, in these two tense, yeah. So very important. Yeah. So let's look at some relative power speech. Okay, fall through. Yeah, fall through. Yeah, we just put these two words together to form a one word. Yeah. To form one word, so yeah, it can become a noun, right? Something that did not happen or was not successful. Okay, a fall through, yeah, means a failure, right? Okay, yeah, I already think about this word. Okay, the project was a fall through because we didn't have enough resources to complete it. Okay, fall through, yeah. Okay, and so let's look at the third example. The company's plans to expand internationally. Or a fall through due to unforeseen economic conditions. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's very sad, right? So you need to do enough homework before you do the expansion, right? Okay. Very important. Yeah. Okay. Fall through. Yeah. Okay. A failure. A a flop. Right. Okay. You already think about this word. Okay. Yeah. So there are some synonyms. Okay. Collapse. Yeah. Fizzle out. <laughs> Fizzle out. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So. Yeah, look at the definition. Yeah, okay. To gradually or slowly come to an end without producing any significant result. Okay. So you end with nothing, right? Okay. So okay, you come to an end, but there's no no fruits. Yeah, okay. No accomplishments, right? So okay, use this word, fizzle out. The excitement over a new product quickly fizzle out when customers realize it didn't live up to its hype. Yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so you need to have the real advertising, yeah, not just have some extravaganza, yeah, have some exaggeration, yeah. So that would be a huge problem, right? Fizzle out, okay. Fizzle out just means it start to die out, right? Okay, very important. Okay, come to mud. Okay, yeah, this word is very interesting. Yeah, an A-U-G-H-T. Okay, so I just look it up first. Okay, mud. Okay, so not. Not just means nothing, yeah. Okay, so it's a noun word for nothing, yeah. Not an a u g h t, okay, means nothing, okay. To come to nothing, right? Okay, end up with nothing, right? Wind up with nothing, yeah. Come to not, okay. Despite the efforts, the negotiations came to not as near side was willing to compromise, okay. Yeah, so yeah, okay. Some reality examples, okay. Reality a sentence, yeah. Okay, I don't think this is. is yeah, okay, it's a synonym, okay. Misfire means, yeah, okay, it does not take effect, okay. Yeah, there's no effect after you do something, yeah, okay. You can say, yeah, okay, yeah, also it's a failure, right? Because we want to have some effect, but there's no effect, okay. But it's much better than backfires, yeah, okay. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, backfire means, yeah, have the, okay, obviously effect, right? So it will be worse, right, okay. The company's new marketing strategy misfire as it failed to attract new customers. Okay, misfires. Yeah. Okay, it does not take effect. Right. Okay, break down. Okay, break down. Yeah. Okay, to fail or stop working. Okay, often due to problem or error. Okay, due to a problem or error. Yeah, break down. So break down has another meaning. It just means it stops working. Yeah. Okay, it stops working properly. Okay, the negotiations broke down when both parties refused to agree on the terms of the contract. Okay, yeah. Break down just means it stops, right? Okay, it terminates, yeah. Okay, it comes to a halt, right? Okay, so yeah, it's not a synonym. Yeah, I don't think it's a synonym. Okay, yeah, so there are some internets, yeah, okay. Go through, yeah. Go through means you yeah overcome the barriers, right? Okay, go through, okay, go through the obstacle, right? Okay. Yeah, succeed. Yeah, work out. Yeah, okay, very important. So yeah, 
Yeah, I hope you all in this year, yeah, can have your things work out for you. Okay, yeah, very important. Yeah, work out. That means to end well or as planned. Okay, yeah, work out. We weren't sure how the new business venture will turn out. Okay, but it seems to be working out so far. Okay. Yeah, so the next one is reparation. Okay, reparation means compensation. Yeah, okay, it's the same meaning. Okay, payment for harm or damage. Okay, yeah, reparation. The company agreed to pay $5 million in reparations to the victims of the pollution. Yeah, in reparations to someone. Okay, very important. Do something in reparations to someone. Okay, yeah, this usage is very important. Okay, yeah. So I'll just move on to the fourth example. Okay, the colonizing country has yet to offer any form of reparation to the indigenous people whose lands and resources were taken. Okay, yeah, reparation. Yeah, financial reparation. Yeah, okay. Yeah, is yeah the most common, right? Okay. Financial reparation. Yeah. But also, yeah, you'll give some yeah, maybe <laughs> yeah, I don't think about another example, yeah. Okay, financial, yeah, maybe, okay, health, health <laughs> reparation, yeah, okay, you cannot, yeah, right, you cannot compensate someone's health, right, so, yeah, okay, yeah, it's the most commonly used, right, okay, financial reparation, okay, so let's look at some reality words in terms of power speech, okay, yeah, reparative, yeah, okay, very important, reparation, but, yeah, okay, once it becomes an adjective, yeah, we need to put the emphasis on the first syllable, okay, reparative. Okay, rating two will intend to make amends for a wrong that has been done, okay, yeah, reparative. Okay, the company made a reparative payment to the affected customers to compensate for their losses, okay, yeah, reparative payment. Okay, so the payment is intended for reparation, right? So, okay, use this adjective, okay, reparative payment, okay. Yeah, reparability, okay, is the quality of being able to be repaired or restored, okay. Yeah, so it's very similar to another war, yeah, I just think about, okay, yeah. The word is, yeah, reversibility, yeah, reversibility, right, reparability. The cause reparability is questionable as it has been in multiple accidents and has significant damage. Yeah, so yeah, the cost of repairing the car will be too high. Yeah, so it's better just buy another new car, right? Okay. Reparationist, yeah, okay, is a person or group who advocates for or demands reparations, especially for historical injustices. Okay, yeah, so there will be some yeah, injustices, yeah, you want to have some conversations, right, but you won't do the retaliation, yeah, okay, yeah, just ask, asking for some, okay, yeah, conversation, yeah, that's a good thing, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, you are, yeah, you deserve that, right, okay, yeah, the reparations movement gained momentum in recent years, with many people pushing for reparations to be paid to the debt Descendants of enslaved individuals. Okay, yeah. Reparations movement. Yeah. Okay, reparations movement. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there are some reparationists involved. Yeah, in this movement. Yeah. Okay. They are active reparationists. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there are some synonyms, right? Conversation. Yeah. Okay. This word is yeah too common, right? So I won't mention it. Okay. But this word another is very important. Okay. Yeah. This synonym is very important. Okay. Restitution. Okay. The act of making good or compensating for loss, damage, or injury. Yeah. Restitution. Okay. Something paid or given to make up for a loss or injury. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Restitution. The thief was ordered to make restitution for the stolen goods. Yeah, restitution. Yeah, redress. Okay. Yeah, redress is another synonym. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, redress. Okay. The government promised to provide redress for the victims of the disaster. Yeah. So it's a noun. Yeah. Right. Okay. Redress. Restitution. Yeah. Conversation. Yeah. Okay. Nouns. Yeah. Okay. Redress, yeah. So we need to put emphasis on the first syllable, yeah, because it's a noun. Okay, redress. Okay, 
amends. Yeah, okay, amends. Yeah, okay, amends. Yeah, does not just means the act of compensation. Yeah, but also it can mean something done or paid to make up for a wrong. Okay, very important. Yeah, wrong here is a noun. Yeah, that means yes, yeah, the things are yeah, that's done wrong, right? Okay, you can refer to this thing. Yeah, as a wrong. Yeah, this action is a wrong. Okay, so wrong can be used as a noun. Okay, yeah, amends. Okay, so amends can be referred. Yeah, can refers to an act. Yeah, but also can refer to something that is given. Yeah, as the reparation. Okay, very important. He may amends for his mistake by apologizing and offering to fix the damage. Okay, so let's move on to the next word. Okay, the next word is half pipe. Okay. Half pipe is a U-shaped structure on which people skateboard, snowboard, etc. Okay, yeah, half pipe is an yeah, okay, is a venue, right? Okay, for yeah, for the sports. Okay, yeah, half pipe. Yeah. Okay, so I just yeah, okay, read the final example. Okay, the local skateboarding competition will feature a variety of events, including half pipe, street. And vert, yeah. So vert is another venue, yeah. Another equipment, yeah. Okay, I just talk about it later. Okay, yeah. So there are some thematic related words. Okay, quarter pipe. Okay, quarter pipe is a ramp that is one quarter of a circle used for skateboarding, snowboarding, or being as biking. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, very interesting. Yeah. So I want to yeah look for this or okay, very important. Being a spiking. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, need to yeah, spend some time searching it, right? Okay, bicycle motocross. Okay, BMX, yeah, is an abbreviation for bicycle motocross. Yeah, motocross. Okay, bicycle motocross. Being a spiking. Okay, very important. Yeah, quarter, yeah, quarter pipe. Yeah, can okay. also be used. Yeah, for being a spiking. After he mastered the half pipe, he moved on to the quarter pipe. Yeah, so quarter pipe is a lot harder than half pipe. Okay, skate park. Okay, skate park is a public or private recreational facility with obstacles and structures designed for skateboarding. Okay, skate park. Okay. The new skate park has a variety of obstacles, including a half pipe and several quarter pipes. Yeah, so yeah, it's a wider yeah venue. Okay, yeah, so this venue has some equipment yeah involved. Yeah, so this equipment includes quarter pipe, half pipe. Okay, yeah, vert is another is another equipment, right? Okay, yeah, it's another facility. Okay. A vertical ramp or half pipe used for skating or skateboarding. Wow, it's vertical. <laughs> yeah, very challenging, right? Okay, he launched himself of the vert ramp and did a perfect 550 degree spin in mid air. Wow, yeah, <laughs> so thrilling, right? Okay, so there are some ready words. Okay, are some ready words. Okay, yeah, rail. Okay, rail is a metal bar or pipe used in skateboarding. Okay, yeah, for grinding or sliding. Okay, very important. Real. Okay, ball. Yeah, ball is a concave, pole like structure used for skating and skateboarding. Yeah, ball. Okay, yeah, the skater drop into the ball and pick up speed coming from side to side. Okay, ball. Yeah, ramp. Yeah, okay, so within only, yeah, okay, yeah, so ramp is just the components. Okay, in yeah, that is already included in half pipe, quarter pipe, and also vert, right? Okay, very important. So yeah, let's move on to the next word. Okay, the next word is hollow. Okay, hollow means to not to do something immediately. Okay, hold off. Yeah, so yeah, it's very similar to postpone, right? Okay, let's hold off on making a decision until we have all the information. So don't rush, right? Yeah, yeah, we do have some enough information so we can take action to make wise decision, right? Okay. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the next example. Yeah, so the next example, yeah, I just focus on the last last one. Okay, can we hold off on the meeting until 
I get back from my business trip. Yeah, so hold off on something or hold off on doing something. Okay, yeah, the usage is very important. Okay, hold off on doing something or on something. Yeah, both are okay. Okay, yeah, so yeah, let's look at some reality words yeah, in terms of power speech. Okay, hold off. Okay, hold off is a noun. A delay or postponement. Postponement, very important. Yeah, okay, so the noun form, yeah, I'll put the two words. Yeah, into one word, right? Okay, so it's very similar, yeah, to the previous one I talked about, right? Okay, yeah, very important. Yeah, you just yeah put two words together, right? Fall through, fall through, right? Okay, hold off, hold off, right? Okay, so it becomes a one word that can be used as a noun. Okay, yeah, a delay or postponement in taking action. Yeah, in doing something, very important. Yeah, but hold off on doing something. Yeah, so now, yeah, okay, also has the same usage. Yeah, we put the same preposition. Yeah, as a verb form. Okay, hold off on doing something. Yeah, a hold off on doing something. Yeah, so also we use on after hold off this noun. Okay, yeah, but very important. Yeah, only you can see a difference, right? Yeah, you can add the in. Yeah, after delay or postponement. Yeah. A delay or postponement in doing something, but a hold off on doing something. Okay, the usage is different. Yeah, so we need to put in emphasis. Okay, the team agreed to a hold off on making any major decisions until after the new CEO was hired. Okay, yeah, hold off can also be used as an adjective. Yeah, interesting. We need a whole strategy to deal with any unforeseen obstacles in the project. Yeah, okay, whole strategy. Okay, so the strategy is about delaying, yeah, it's about postponing, right? It's not about taking action immediately, yeah, okay. Hold off it, yeah, okay, this one is very interesting, yeah, okay, it's really used, okay. That means uh, reserve, okay, distant or unfriendly in manner, okay. The new intern was a bit hot off at first, but warm up to a colleagues over time. Yeah, so her office just means yeah withdrawing, right? Okay, someone is not good at socializing. They are very yeah introverted. Okay, yeah. So yeah, hall has another meaning. Okay, it can refer to a component in an electronic system that delays the start of a process or action. Yeah. So yeah, it can mean yeah it can refers to a component, not just the action. Yeah. Okay, very important. Yeah, not just the action or postponement, but also can refer to a component. Uh, but is yeah, this meaning is not very practical. Yeah, okay, it's not okay, why they use. So just move on to silence. Okay. Yeah, put off, hold back, delay. Yeah. So I'll put emphasis on the second synonym. Okay, hold back. Okay, to refrain from acting immediately. Yeah, hold back, right. Okay. He held back from Making a decision until we have he had more information. Yeah, so if someone want to take action immediately, yeah, but you don't think that's a good idea, you can use another idiom. Yeah, okay, yeah, hold your horses. Yeah, okay, very important. Hold your horses. Yeah, okay. So there are some other synonyms. Okay, but these two are not so important. Yeah, so I just move on to emptiness. Yeah, so. Yeah, if you don't hope, you want to take action immediately. Yeah, is that uh, you proceed? Yeah, you act, right? Yeah, you get started, right? You advance. Yeah, you hasten. Yeah, hasten to do something. Okay, we can't hold off any longer. We need to hasten our decision making process. Okay, very important. Okay, so let's look at another word. Okay, paprika. Yeah, this one is not very important. Okay, is a spice. Okay, a ripe powder. Used as a spice to give a slightly half flavor to food, especially in meat dishes. Yeah. Okay. Paprika. So you add some paprika to a meat. Yeah. You will become very delicious. Right. Okay. I sprinkle paprika. Yeah. Very important. Sprinkle. Yeah. We use the word. Yeah. Okay. We want to add some spice on the food. Yeah. Sprinkle. Okay. I sprinkle paprika on the roast chicken to give it some extra flavor. Yeah. Okay. Paprika. Okay, a pinch of paprika. Yeah, yeah. That means yeah. Okay, only a slice of them, right? Okay, a slice of paprika. Okay, paprika is a staple spice in many Hungarian dishes. Wow, like goulash and chicken paprikash. <laughs> 
Okay, so yeah, these two dishes are very, <laughs> yeah, are very foreign, right? Very exotic, yeah. So yeah, okay, if you have any interest, yeah, you can search it, yeah, on Google, yeah, for the pictures, right? Okay, I learned a smoky flavor that smoked paprika adds to grilled meats and vegetables. Wow, yeah, you'll be very aromatic, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, the chef used a mixture of paprika, cumin. And chili powder to make the perfect seasoning for the taco meat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my <laughs> my mouth starts roaring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I start roaring. Right, oh, yeah, so delicious, right? <laughs> okay, so there are some thematic related words, right? Spice, yeah. So spice is, yeah, is a general word, yeah. Okay, but yeah, okay, there are different kind of spice, right? So paprika is one of them, yeah. So there are some other kinds, right? Including cayenne, yeah. Okay, so this one is hard, right? Okay, so I'll just look for the pronunciation first. Okay, yeah. Very important. Okay. Cayenne pepper. Okay, cayenne, yeah, cayenne pepper. Okay, cayenne is a type of hot pepper that is often used in cooking. Yeah, cayenne. Okay, the dish has a spicy kick. From the cayenne pepper, yeah, kick just means a little taste, yeah, okay, yeah, very important, okay, cayenne, saffron, yeah, saffron is a spice derived from the flavor of crackers, sativus, okay, commonly used to give a yellow or orange color to food, okay, saffron, yeah, okay, the pillar had a beautiful golden hue from the saffron, yeah, so. Yeah, this sentence is very high level, right? Okay, pila have go beautiful golden hue. Yeah, from the saffron. So, yeah, it just means the color, right? Okay, the color, yeah, yeah, is yellowish. Is yeah, okay, is like yeah, kind of orange, right? So, okay, you see spore, right? Saffron. Okay, cumin. Okay, cumin is a spice made from the seeds of a plant, often used in Middle Eastern and Indian cooking. Okay. The chili was spiced with cumin and other warm spices. Okay, so I'll just move on to some other thematically related words. Okay, curry. Yeah. Okay. Tumer turmeric. Yeah, this one is very important. Yeah, turmeric. Okay. Yeah, is anti-cancer, right? Okay. Turmeric. Okay, turmeric. A yellow powder used as a spice to flavor particular foods. Especially curry and give them a yellow flag color. Yeah, it's made from the root of an ancient plant. Okay, yeah, turmeric. The rice had a warm and earthy flavor from the turmeric. Yeah, okay. So let's look, move on to the next word, right? Okay, yeah, the next word is undercut. Okay, undercut means to damage something or to make it fail. Yeah, undercut something to undermine. Yeah, okay, very similar. The scandal undercut the company's reputation and sales. Yeah, very important. Okay, so the past tense is the same form, right? Undercut. Yeah, cut, cut, cut. So yeah, the same for undercut, right? Okay. Yeah, the rainy weather has undercut our plans for an outdoor picnic. Yeah. So it just means yeah, okay, it prevents, right? Okay. Yeah, it just yeah, okay, bring barriers, yeah, to your plans, right? Okay. The increased competition from overseas companies is undercutting the domestic market. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Undercutting. Yeah. Okay. Is undermining. Right. Okay. Yeah. Is diminishing. Okay. Yeah. So there are some synonyms I already mentioned. <laughs> okay. So just move on to the rated words. Yeah. In terms of power speech. Okay. Undercutter. Yeah. Undercutter is a person or thing that undercuts. Typically used in a figurative sense to describe someone who undermines or sabotages others. He was seen as an undercutter by his colleagues, always trying to take credit for their work. Yeah, okay, so bad, right? Okay, don't be that person. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this kind of person is very detestable. Yeah, okay. Don't, don't, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Don't try to take credit, yeah, for others' work. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's very bad. Okay, undercutting. Okay, undercutting is an act of intentionally damaging or sabotaging someone or something. 
Okay, I'm cutting. The company's profits suffer due to the other cuts made by its competitors. Yeah, so here other cut is a noun. Yeah, so it also can be used as a noun. Okay, not just a verb. Okay, uncutting. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so yeah, uncutting is the same. Yeah, for the noun form, right? Undercut. Okay, undercutting me. Okay, you do some undercutting me. That means, yeah, you do that thing that can bring damage, right? Okay, he complimented her work. But his tone was uncountably dismissive. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it's very, yeah, unsincere, right? Okay. So there are some synonyms, yeah, sabotage, yeah, already, yeah, already see that word, right? Okay, undermine, yeah, subvert, yeah, subvert, yeah, another important synonym. Okay, subvert means to overthrow or undermine the established authority or system, yeah, so it's about government, yeah, okay, yeah, it's about the authority. Okay, subvert. The rebel group aimed to subvert the corrupt government and establish a new democracy. Okay, so there are some synonyms. Okay, other synonyms. Okay, thought, compromise, counteract. Yeah, so here, yeah, just means to prevent, yeah, to deter, yeah, to deter the process. Okay, so yeah, a, a little different, right? Okay, it does not just means that yeah, you yeah, decrease the power of something, but yeah, you want to okay start the process right to thwart something okay to compromise yeah okay yeah so this word is very yeah okay is very often used yeah in computer right yeah maybe you just say that your account is compromised yeah that means your account has been used by others yeah that has yeah that has gained access to account yeah that's very dangerous why right? okay compromise okay. So there are some antonyms, yeah. So yeah, you didn't do damage to something, but you will bring some recovery, yeah. So yeah, it's the antonym, right? To repair, to strengthen or support something. Okay. To bolster, yeah, to protect. Yeah, to bolster means to boost, to increase, right? Okay. To support, yeah. Okay, so very similar. Okay. The company decided to invest more in cybersecurity. To bolster its defenses against any attempts to undercut its online security. Yeah, okay. So there are two words in one sentence, right? Undercut and bolster. Yeah, okay, very important. Okay, so another word is cauldron. Okay, cauldron is a large round container for cooking in, usually supported over a fire and used especially in the past. Yeah, cauldron. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's a cooker. Okay. Yeah, it's a container. Yeah, very important. The witch stirred the bubbling potion. Potion. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, potion is a drug. Yeah, that after you consume it, yeah, you will love specific person, right? <laughs> yeah, potion. Okay, in a culture with a wooden spoon. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this sentence will appear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in the yeah. Fairy tale, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. In some fiction. Yeah. Okay. The chef lifted the cauldron of soup from the fire with a pair of tongs. Yeah. Okay. So I want to search this word. Yeah. Tongue. Okay. Very important. Yeah. Tongue. T O N G. Yeah. Okay. So tongue is a Chinese organization in the U.S. Often connected with a secret or criminal. Yeah, activities, yeah, so, yeah, okay, so it's about the organization, yeah, tongue, with a pair of tongues, yeah, I don't think it's that meaning, okay, yeah, so, yeah, okay, maybe it's very similar to, okay, the gloves, right, okay, the medieval knights heated tar in the cauldron to pour over the castle walls during battle, yeah, okay, yeah, so it's about construction. Yeah, so it's not, uh, it's not about cooking, right? Okay. The villagers gather around the cauldron for a hearty stew on the cold winter's night. Okay, cauldron. Okay. So let's move on to some thematic related words. Okay. Pot, kettle. Yeah, kettle. Okay, is a container with a lid, spout. And handle, yeah. So this one is also very important. Yeah, spout S P O U T. Okay. Yeah. S P O U T. Yeah, so this word is about the yeah, okay. 
the outlet, right? Okay, a two-shape opening that allows liquids to be poured out of a container. Yeah, okay, spout. Okay, yeah, the outlet of the water, right? Okay, yeah, okay, very important. Yeah, spout. Okay, he put a kettle on the stove to make some tea. Okay, yeah, another one is wok. Yeah, wok is a large round button, okay, cooking pan. Originating in China and used especially for stir frying. Okay, stir frying. Wok. Okay, yeah, wok. Yeah, very important. Okay, she used a wok to stir fry the vegetables and chicken. Yeah. So wok, yeah, is yeah, is the equipment for stirring. Okay, yeah, for frying, stir frying, yeah. Okay. So another word is Dutch oven. Okay. Dutch oven is a heavy deep pot with a lid. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it's a deep pot. Okay, typically made of cast iron, used for cooking food, especially stews and casseroles. Ooh, yeah, casserole is, is a kind of soup. Yeah, it's so delicious, right? Yeah, so I just search it. Yeah, okay, look it up. Yeah, casseroles. Yeah, okay. A dish made by cooking meat, vegetables, or other foods in liquid inside a heavy container at low heat, or the heavy dip container with a lid used in cooking such dishes. Yeah, okay. Casserole. Casserole. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, we use Dutch oven yeah, to cook casserole, right? He used a Dutch oven to cook the beef stew. Okay. Yeah. He used a Dutch oven yeah, to cook the lamb casserole <laughs> right okay yeah so let's move on okay to the next one okay roasting pan yeah roasting pan is a pan used for roasting meat or poultry in the oven okay she put the turkey in the roasting pan and cook it in the oven yeah very important yeah so the next time you want to describe the dishes that is put okay in the oven yeah okay the tray okay is the roasting pan, yeah, the roasting pan. Yeah, so the next word is offbeat. Okay, offbeat means unusual and strange and therefore surprising or noticeable. Yeah, offbeat. Okay, so yeah, it's very whimsical. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah, very eccentric, right? Okay, yeah, it's not normal. Okay, the band's offbeat style of music has attracted a small but devoted following. Okay, yeah, offbeat. She had an offbeat sense of humor that took some getting used to. Yeah, okay, offbeat. So it's very out of the box, right? Okay, yeah, it's not traditional. Yeah, it does not fit in the format, right? Okay. The artist's paintings had an offbeat quality that made them stand out from other works. Okay, offbeat. Yeah, so in this generation of AI, yeah. Definitely, yeah, you need some curiosity. Yeah, you can create some offbeat style. Yeah, that will not be created by AI. So, yeah, you can, yeah, you can keep your abilities. Yeah, okay, to earn money, right? Okay, very important. Yeah, offbeat. Yeah, so there are some reality power speech. Okay, offbeatness. Yeah, the quality, right? Yeah, okay, offbeatly. Yeah, okay, so I just move on to the next one. Okay, yeah, okay, so. The next section, yeah, okay. So the next section is silliness, okay, eccentric, quirky, yeah, quirky, unorthodox, yeah. This word is very important, yeah, very formal, okay. That means it's not conforming to established or traditional ways of thinking or doing things, yeah. okay. So it does not conform to tradition, yeah, okay, unorthodox. Okay, the unorthodox approach to problem solving produce unexpected results. Okay, so there will be some set possibility to serendipity, right? Okay, so yeah, that will be a good fortune. Yeah. Okay, so there are some other serious, okay, idiosyncratic. <laughs> yeah, this one is not so good. Okay, peculiar or individualistic in nature. Yeah, idiosyncratic. Okay, so it's very strange. Yeah. Okay, the writer's idiosyncratic style make his novel stand out. Yeah, novel, right? Novel can also be used as an edge. I mean, it's very new, okay? It's unusual, it's innovative, right? Unconventional, yeah, okay? Unorthodox, okay? Yeah, very similar, okay? 
Yeah, so there are, there are some elements, right? So yeah, it's very conventional. Yeah, okay, very ordinary. Yeah, it's there's no nothing special, right? It's mediocre. Yeah, it's predictable. Yeah, so it's not good at all, right? Okay, yeah, traditional, normal, conventional. Yeah, okay, very similar. Okay, so I want to compare these two words. Yeah, okay, conventional and traditional. Yeah, okay, these two words are a little different. Okay, conventional means conforming to accepted standards, common, traditional. Okay, yeah, but traditional means following established customs or beliefs, right? So, yeah, okay, convention is wider than tradition. Okay, because tradition just means the culture that is in the past, yeah, okay, in the old age, yeah, but convention just means, yeah, maybe in this modern era, okay, yeah, what kind of Ideas that is mostly accepted. Okay, so it's quite different. Okay, so we need to put emphasis on these two words. Okay, yeah, they are not the same. Okay, convention and tradition, they are very different. Okay, so yeah, very important. Okay, so let's move on to the next word. Okay, the next word is cadence. Okay, cadence is a set of chords at the end of a piece of music. Okay, cadence. The composer's use of a playgoal cadence at the end of the piece gave it a sense of finality and resolution. Yeah, so this word is very hard, right? Playgoal. Yeah. Okay. P O A G A L. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this word is not yeah recorded yeah in the Cambridge Dictionary. Yeah. So this word is very hard, right? Okay. Playgoal. Plagal. Plagal, yeah. Okay, having the keynote on the full scale step, yeah. Okay. Okay, cadence, yeah. Okay, progressing from the subdominant chord to the tonic. Okay, plagal, yeah. Okay, so it's very, yeah, okay, specialized term, right? It's a very specialized term, yeah. Okay, in the field of music, right? Plagal. Okay, yeah, plagal cadence, yeah, okay. This collocation is very important. Yeah, play go cadence. Okay. The jazz band's improvisation on traditional tell bar blues cadence added a fresh twist to the familiar tune. Okay, yeah. Okay, cadence. Memor memor uh, <laughs> okay, memorable cadence. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's unforgettable, right? It's very memorable. Yeah, okay. Yeah, cadence. Okay, sneer cadence. Ooh. Okay, so snare jazz means very obvious, right? The, the sound is very impressive, right? Okay, yeah, okay, very important. Yeah, so there are many powers in these sentences, right? Okay, mm. so let's just move on to the next example, okay? The conductor's attention to the orchestra's timing and phrasing in the Beethoven symphony's pragmatic cadence made a finale all the more powerful, yeah. Pragmatic that means ready to climax, right? Okay, yeah, okay, it's the top, right? Okay, so yeah, it's the most emotional part, okay. Yeah, so there are some ready power speech, okay. Cadential, yeah, cadential is the adjective, okay, relating to or having the nature of a cadence, okay. The cadential chords of the song were beautifully arranged, okay. Cadential chords. Yeah, very important. Okay, this collocation we need to memorize it, right? Okay, credential course. Okay, yeah, cadence already can refer to a self course. Yeah, but you can describe this course that is used at the end of a piece of music. Okay, so you can use this collocation. Okay, use this compound. Uh, use this collocation. Yeah, okay, very important. Okay, credential course. Okay, credential course. Okay. Decadence. Okay, decadence is moral or cultural decline as characterized by excessive indulgence in pleasure or luxury. Yeah, so this one is very different. Yeah, okay, has another meaning. Okay, the meaning is very different. Okay, the society was on a brink of decadence. Okay, okay decadence. I mean, it's, yeah, it's going to collapse, right? Okay, yeah, very important. Yeah, okay. There will be some yeah bankruptcy yeah this is what I want to mention yeah bankruptcy yeah it does not only yeah okay related to 
the money, yeah, okay, but also related to yeah morality, okay, moral bankruptcy, right, okay, moral decadence, yeah, okay, very important. Okay, so let's move on to the sinner section. Okay, core progression. Yeah. Okay. It just <laughs> okay already seen a very specialized words, right? Playgo. Yeah. So playgo is a kind of core progression, right? Okay, from subdominant to the tone, right? Okay. Yeah. So it is a kind of core progression, right? Okay. Harmony melody, right? Okay. Yeah. So. These words are all related to the music. Yeah, okay, very important. Harmony, okay. The harmony of the choir was breathtaking. Yeah, okay. That means, yeah, okay, in accord, right? Very important. Yeah, so let's move on to our sinners. Okay, yeah, finale, coda, yeah, okay. I think finale and coda are very important, okay, yeah, because they are all related to the end, yeah, okay. The same for cadence, right? Okay, related to the end. Okay, finale. The finale of the concert was breathtaking and brought the audience to their feet. Yeah. Okay, that means they stand up and give a round of applause. Right. Okay, finale. Okay, coda. Coda is a concluding musical section that is formally distinct from the main structure. Yeah. Okay, so it's not related to the end. Yeah, coda. Okay, yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah, it's also related to the end because it's yeah used for conclusion. Yeah, concluding. Okay, yeah, distinct. Yeah, so it can be an unexpected twist, right? Okay, yeah, coda. The coda of the song was a beautiful and unexpected ending to the piece. Yeah, very important. Yeah, so it's very unexpected. Yeah, this end. Yeah, it's very unexpected. Yeah, it's unpredictable. Yeah, so. Yeah, the end. Yeah, we can refer this this kind of end. Yeah, it's a coda. Yeah. So, yeah, there are some antonyms. Yeah, but not exactly the opposite meaning. Okay. So the first one I talk about is the cackle. <laughs> yeah, this is why I need to play the pronunciation first. Yeah, I don't know the pronunciation. Okay. Yeah. So there are some lag. Yeah, in the browser. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just maybe. Okay. The first. Yeah. Okay, just okay, yeah. So the link is wrong. Okay, yeah. So there will be this problem. So I just yeah search it in the Merriam Webster dictionary. Yeah, the cackle. Yeah, very important. Staccato. Hmm. Okay, staccato. Yeah, a musical turn indicating that notes should be played in a short, detached manner. This could be considered an antonym to cadence, in the sense that it is a musical style that emphasizes short, sharp sounds rather than a more sustained sequence of chords or notes. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Because yeah, the melody will be very short. Right. Okay. Yeah. The tail will be very short compared to cadence. Yeah. So it can be considered as an antonym. Okay. The staccato melody created a sense of tension and urgency. That contrasted with the gentle cadences of the background music. Okay, yeah. Okay, staccato. Okay, staccato. This chord, yeah. Okay, very similar, right? Okay, it's not harmony. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's the opposite, right? Okay, this chord. Okay. Yeah. That sounds harsh or jarring. Yeah. So it's not good, right? <laughs> yeah. Quite opposite. Yeah. So yeah, it's not an approved style in the music, right? Okay. So let's look at some thematic related words. Yeah. Okay. Tempo, rhythm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this two is a little different. Yeah. Okay. Rhythm is a strong, regular, repeated pattern of sounds, movements, or beats. Okay. So it's about the pattern. Yeah. Tempo is the speed. Very important. Yeah. The pace, the speed at which a piece of music is played. Yeah. So it's different, right? Okay. Rhythm is about the pattern. Okay, but tempo is about the speed. Okay, the pace. Okay, of the music. Okay, so I'll just move on. Okay, to some other thematically related words. Yeah. Okay, beat and pitch. Yeah, pitch very important. Yeah, it's about the frequency of the sound. Right. She hit the high pitch effortlessly, impressing everyone in the room. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very important. Okay. So. Beat, yeah, okay, is also very important, but yeah, it's very simple, right? Okay, yeah, maybe you already heard of beatbox, right? So 
bit is about yeah okay the the sound of yeah boo 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 yeah okay yeah hard bit yeah okay so bit is yeah related to a tempo right okay yeah the bit is a component of the tempo yeah you can say that right okay the bit of the song made everyone in the club dance okay yeah okay dance to a music right okay so let's move on to the next one okay the next one is globe trotter <laughs> yeah globe trotter is someone who often travels to a lot of different countries okay globe trotter yeah. the retired couple decide to spend their golden years as globe trotters traveling to a new destination every few weeks <laughs> yeah okay good idea but you should have the budget right okay yeah okay globe trotter yeah you should keep your budget yeah okay so let's move on to a last example yeah the travel agency specializing in creating unique itineraries for globe trotters who want to experience different cultures okay yeah okay unique itineraries yeah itineraries that means yeah okay the plane right okay the schedule okay for the travel okay itinerary so there are some reality power speech okay go trot yeah okay go try is the most important okay so i'll just move on to the second okay the second one okay the travel around the world yeah to travel around the world okay after finishing college, he decided to go trot for a year before starting his career. Yeah, so take gap year. Yeah, it's a good idea, right? Okay, yeah, okay. Expand your horizon. Okay. Yeah, so there are some related students. Yeah. Okay. World traveler, jazz setter. Yeah, jazz setter. Yeah, exactly the same as globe trotter. Okay. Yeah, but jazz setter is, yeah, okay. About a wealthy person, yeah, okay, a wealthy person who travels frequently to fashionable and exotic locations for pleasure, yeah. So maybe you have a very expensive travel, right? Okay, yeah, okay. Go trotter, maybe yeah, you just yeah, go to some okay natural things, okay. But a just I will go to some yeah, okay shopping malls, right? <laughs> that is yeah of high standard, yeah. You spend yeah okay yeah, you just spend like you like you are okay burning your money yeah okay the millionaire businessman is a jazz setter who is always on the go okay yeah it's for wanderlust yeah wanderlust is what is also very important but it's not related to yeah the worldwide travel okay a strong desire or impulse to travel in sport war okay wanderlust Shu has such a wanderlust. Okay, he has such wanderlust. Okay, so wanderlust is a property. Yeah, uh, it does not refer to a person. Yeah, so we need to put emphasis on the meaning. Okay, yeah, it's about the property, the strong desire or impulse. Okay, very important. Okay, she plans to quit her job and travel the world for a year. Okay, yeah, been traveling. <laughs> yeah, been traveling, right? <laughs> yeah that means you travel yeah okay intensively okay in a specific duration right okay yeah so let's look at some antonyms yeah homebody right okay homebody okay 宅男宅女, right okay homebody yeah my sister is such a homebody she rarely leaves the house and has no interest in traveling like a globe trotter yeah okay homebody yeah Okay, settled, yeah, quite different. Yeah, settled just means yeah, someone who have a specific home, yeah, has specific place to live. Yeah. So yeah, it's not related to travel. Yeah, it's not related to yeah, the hobby. Okay. Not going out, right? So I don't think it's the internet. Okay. Staycationer. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, it's a kind of opposite, right? Because yeah, you just go to some place that is near to the place you are living, right? So, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, so it's a car internet, right? Okay, staycationer. I'm more of a staycationer than a globe trotter. I prefer to explore a local area and save money by not traveling worldwide, right? Okay, by not traveling overseas, okay? Yeah. So there are some rated words, yeah, but I don't think these rated words are very important, yeah? They are too simple, okay? <laughs> Yeah, nomad. Yeah, nomad. Okay, nomad is a person who has no permanent home 
and travels from place to place in search of food. Okay, so it's not about travel. It's not about. It's about the living style. Okay, so again, yeah, I don't think it's related. Yeah, okay, but we can learn this all. Okay, the nomads of the Sahara Desert travel best distances to find water and food. Yeah, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, this one is a hen. A hen. Okay, a hen is an exclamation. Yeah, it's used to represent the little cough that someone makes to express slight embarrassment, enjoyment, doubt, or disapproval, or to attract attention. A hen. <laughs> yeah, okay. A hen. I'd like to say a few words about the issue at hand. Yeah, a hen. <laughs> he looked up and with a pointed hand, reminding them that he was still waiting for the answer. <laughs> yeah, so he become impatient. Yeah, so you let out this exclamation, right? A hand. <laughs> yeah, okay, so there are some sentences. Yeah, hem, hem. <laughs> Top cough. Yeah, okay, very important. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can learn this exclamation, right? Very interesting. Okay. Yeah, uh, excuse me, pardon me. Yeah, okay, it's not. Yeah, okay, it's not synonym. Yeah, I don't think they are synonyms. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's polite way. Yeah, uh, okay, it's not the way you want to show your impatience. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, so yeah, they are not synonymous to a hand. Yeah, very different. Okay, so let's look at some thematic related words. Yeah, tisk, huh? Okay, tisk, huh? Okay. Yeah, this is an exclamation used to express disapproval, disappointment, or annoyance. Tisk, yeah, kind of old fashioned, yeah. Okay, tisk, I can't believe you forgot my birthday. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, so I'm very disappointed, right? Okay, tisk, yeah, okay, use this exclamation, yeah, to express your disappointment, yeah. Okay, ha, huh. okay, ha, huh. I don't, I didn't thought that was even possible, yeah, so. Yeah, you just want to show disbelief. Yeah, okay, very confused, right? You are very confused, or yeah, okay, you think you are very apart. Yeah, okay, yeah, something that you cannot believe. Yeah, okay, use this exclamation, huh? Yeah, okay, so you show doubt, right? Show skepticism. Yeah, okay, use this exclamation, okay, huh? Okay, yeah, so. Let's move on to the next word, okay? Morsel. <laughs> Another delicious food, right? Morsel is a very small piece of food, okay? Yeah, a pinch of something, a morsel of something, okay? Very similar, right? Okay, she offered me a morsel of chocolate cake, but I was too full to eat it, okay? He picked up a morsel of cheese with his fingers and popped it in his mouth, okay? Yeah, okay, morsel, a morsel of something. Okay, a morsel of something. That means, yeah, okay, a small amount of something. Okay, a very small piece of something. Okay, yeah, is, yeah, is the, okay, quanti yeah, quantifier. Okay, for food, very important. Yeah, especially for food. Okay, yeah, so we can look at some related words in terms of power speech. Okay, the verb is morselize. Okay, yeah, to cut into small pieces, to morselize something. The chef morselize the vegetables to use in the sauce. Okay, morselize. Morselization, yeah, is the act, yeah, of doing, yeah, okay, of cutting into small pieces, right, okay. The morselization of the chicken made it easier to cook, yeah, okay. Morsel like, okay, very similar to small piece of food. The kidney was shaped like a tiny morsels, okay, yeah, morsels, okay. It's, okay, the candy was, more so like, right? Okay, yeah, very, yeah, very simple, right? Okay, so let's move on to calculations. Yeah, morselization tool, <laughs> morselization tool. Okay, yeah, so yeah, maybe you yeah think about yeah the Chinese translation, right? Tiao li ji, right? Okay, morselization tool, a kitchen utensil used for chopping food into small pieces. Yeah, so is it utensil? Yeah, okay, morselization tool. Yeah, okay. That is helping. Yeah, it's very okay. That is very useful when you want to okay cut your foods into small pieces, right? Okay, morselization tool. The morselization tool make quick work of chopping the nuts. Okay, yeah, morselization tool. Morsel carrier. Yeah, okay, the device used to carry small pieces of food. Morsel carrier. Yeah, 
the waiter used a morsel carrier to bring the appetizers to the table. Yeah. So let's look at some synonyms. Okay, bite-sized, nibble, yeah, nibble, crumb, speck, yeah, okay, they are all qualifiers, right? Okay, a nibble of something, okay, a crumb of something, okay, speck, yeah, a speck of salt, a pinch of something, right? Okay, yeah, a synonyms, right? Okay, fragment, scrap, yeah, okay, particle, yeah, petite, yeah, petite is an adjective, yeah, it's, in, it's not a noun, yeah, we don't put emphasis on that, okay, yeah. Petite appetizers, yeah, that means, uh, okay, a small amount of appetizers, right? Petite, okay, petite also can be used to describe the, yeah, okay, the stature, yeah, okay, of a woman, right, of a woman, yeah, okay, very small and very attractive, right? Okay, tidbit, okay, tidbit is a small and particularly interesting item of gossip or information, yeah, so it's not related to work, to, related to food, yeah, okay, but we can learn that, right? Okay, a tidbit, of gossip, a tidbit of information. She shared a few tidbits about her trip to Europe. Okay, yeah. Okay, tidbits about something. Okay, some messages, but not too much information, right? Okay, only small amount. Okay, so we can use this or okay, tidbit. Okay, so yeah, there are some internets, yeah. So large amount, right? Fist, portion, yeah, a lion's share, right? Okay. So yeah, there are some relative words, okay, yeah, thematic relative words, crop, yeah, okay, prong is a tiny piece of bricks off from a larger food item, okay, yeah, a crumb of bread, a crumb of cake, yeah, okay, appetizer, yeah, okay, that means, yeah, okay, a food is very mouth-watering, right, okay, so here's the end, okay, for the world, okay, so, yeah, okay, so you can notice that, okay, this time, yeah, the information, yeah, is much, okay, is is much lower, right? Okay, the information level, right? <laughs> yeah, information amount, okay, is much lower, okay, than previous one, okay, because yeah, okay, I already noticed that, okay, after I use the ChatGPT, yeah, to bring more insight into vocabulary, yeah, the level already become too high, yeah, so. Okay, in this week, yeah, okay, I feel that the information is not for you to learn. Okay, yeah, so don't spread yourself too thin. Okay, and the next time I want to share another scientific journal to you. Okay, so see you next time.